Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you a fitness update covering three weeks. And I know this video might be kind of redundant, but I'm just gonna go through like normal what I did each of the weeks. I don't have footage for most of them just because I took a week off of filming altogether. And then I took one of the weeks was Vlogmas. So I vlogged myself doing these workouts on my daily vlogging schedule during Vlogmas. So that is where the footage is for some of this. I'm gonna give you some updates which are there's not too many that come to mind right now so it's gonna be kind of chill and then we'll get into the photos. I have saved all the photos so you can see my progress each week. So starting off we're gonna cover week 49. So week 49 on Saturday I didn't do anything um, obviously on Saturdays I just don't do anything and then Sunday I did the 15 minute hit workout and the 15 minute Christmas mad fit workout. So so during the whole week of Christmas, I only did a 30 minute workout just so I could keep fit, but also kind of take it easy just because it was the week of Christmas. So during the week of Christmas on Monday, I did the 30 minute day six, which included the 10 minute lower abs, um, choose a dance. I don't know which dance I did. <laughs> and then the five minute daily stretch. Then on Tuesday, I don't work out. Um, I did probably do a little work that day, so I don't really know. I was really busy vlogging and stuff. So Wednesday, I did the 30 minute day three, which all of these you can find on her Instagram. And this was the Christmas plan, the 30 minute one. So day three included the Christmas family dance, which was really easy. So that was also fun to do. The 12 minute booty and then the 10 minute knee friendly booty. Gotta get the booty days in on Wednesdays. Um, I actually did work out on Thursday, which was Christmas Eve. I worked out on Thursday, so I didn't have to work out on Christmas day. And I did day two, which was the Christmas dance workout it was the 10 minute one and then I did the 12 minute happy sweat and then the five minute stretch and I think that was perfect for the week of Christmas just to keep my body moving and so I feel good moving on to week 50 of course Saturday nothing Sunday I did the 20 minute intense workout the 10 minute six pack the trained waist workout. I must say that workout really works because like my waist has been looking really good. <laughs> and then the five minute stretch. And I really like that plan I kind of put together for myself just because it's all like focused on like the stomach area. And honestly, that's the place where I feel like the most not confident just because, you know, I ate a lot the past week and everything. So I'll put that on the screen um, when I talk about it. So I did the home workout plan, 45 minutes, super sweaty. The week 42, this is the week after Christmas. So I did the day one, kill the cookie. And that includes the abs with weights, the happy sweat, the choose a dance, which I think I chose. I did both of them not at the same time, but like one week I did the R&B and then the second week, and then the previous week I did the 10 minute Christmas dance. And then I did the HIIT workout and the stretch. I love this one. This is a really good day to just like hit and kill all those calories or burn, I should say, all of those calories and everything. So it was a fun day. Wednesday, because I don't work out on Tuesday, I did the day three. So Wednesday is always my booty days. So I did the 20 minute booty and weights. And then I did the 10 minute booty, the abs and booty, and then the splits workout. And the abs and booty, is probably one of my favorites. I love that workout because it works out your abs and your butt at the same time, like in 10 minutes, which is amazing. And then Thursday, because I didn't feel like working out on Friday or like we had something planned on Friday. Thursday, I did day six, which is the choose one. The um, I chose to do the 15 minute upper body the 10 minute hit and the tone arms and the stretch. I did the exact same routine that I just mentioned, week 50. So that was week 50. Moving on to week 51, I did the exact same thing, only I think on some of the dances, like I changed it. So like on day one, I did the R&B hit workout. Week 51, I did everything the same 
as week 50. If you're confused or whatever, just know I did the exact same thing this past week. I think I have already laid over the B-roll of like me doing the workouts. I don't really know because I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. I did everything the same except for one thing. So yesterday, I did work out yesterday instead of today because today I have just some stuff going on. I did everything the same, but I did not do the daily 10 minute stretch yesterday because I had a call with like my boss and then like, I don't know, I just got distracted so like I didn't end up finishing that workout so uh, yeah I just like hopped in the shower and yeah so moving on to the updates the first update I want to share is that I got the cutest biker shorts from kick-ass if you don't follow me on Instagram you totally should because I posted a photo of me wearing the biker shorts they are so cute they're so comfortable they're just like the everyday leggings really suck in the lower abdominal fat roll area and they make your butt look really good they're super like soft when they say buttery smooth like it that's perfect that's a perfect description of them i love them also i wanted to say that i did not lose a ton of weight during this whole like journey um i might do like a recap for my week 52 which week 52 i'm actually going to be going back to chloe ting i really want to like try some of her new workouts i absolutely adore her um but i just fell in the the rabbit hole of pamela reef and i really like pamela's workouts they're super challenging and efficient effective and just overall really good but i also really like chloe ting's so i think i'm gonna go back to that overall I did not lose a bunch of weight, guys. Um, I think I started off almost pushing like 140, which is probably like the heaviest I've ever been, which is kind of crazy. But like just recently, I've weighed like 130, 137, but clearly my body looks different. I mean, maybe not to you, which is totally fine, but I feel different and like my clothes fit differently. So that really just goes to show you, it's really not about the number on the scale. And I know that sounds cliche, cheesy, whatever, but I'm telling you, when I say I haven't lost that much weight, I really have not lost that much weight. I have lost fat. And like, I don't know, I still have this like mini one, obviously. And then like, you know, she's, it's, that's interesting. But anyway, um, I haven't lost like that much weight weight. I just lost fat. And my secret to losing fat is number one, food. Obviously like eat healthy, don't overeat, don't eat salt and vinegar chips, don't eat tons of cookies like I do. Just food, obviously just watch what you're eating and stuff. Don't overeat, listen to your body, but also hit workouts. If you're not sweating, you're not like burning stuff. I mean, I don't know if that's true. I'm not like licensed in this, but you have to do like HIIT workouts, stuff that will like burn calories. Like you can lift weights all you want, but if you want to burn fat, you really need to like sweat during your workouts. And I mean like the hardcore like HIIT workouts you really need to do. That's just for my personal opinion. I don't, again, I don't know if that's like true, but that's what I highly recommend you guys do do those burpees, the push-ups, jumping jacks, the running in place, go on a jog. Like, I don't know, if you go to a marathon and you see the people that legit run for like serious reasons, they're all pretty fit. And the reason why is because like that's a cardio, like high heart rate thing, exercise. So that's kind of my secret. Just like do a bunch of like hard intense workouts. Um, also like do upper body, do leg, do butt, do abs, whatever. I'm still working on the abs, obviously. But those are my biggest tips for actually losing weight. I guess I just did my recap in this video, but whatever. We're pretty much starting a new, a new chapter next week. So um, I kind of just want to give my overall opinion about my journey and everything. And honestly, like I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. And I do want to like improve and everything. And I still want to continue these up updates because I think they're really like therapeutic and I just like talking obviously. So moving into the photos, these are week 49's photos. Um, as you guys can see, Alex the previous week before week 29 is on the left and Alex week 49 is on the right. And here is the side view of that. And then here is pre-workout Alex versus week 49 Alex. 
Um, this is the front view and this is the side view. And then moving on to week 50, which there is like, I feel like there's actually a slight decline because I just ate a lot. So um, this is week 50. So Alex week 49 is on the left and Alex week 50 is on the right. And then here is the side view of that. And here's pre-workout Alex versus week 50. So pre-workout Alex is on the left and then week 50 Alex is on the right. And here is the side view of that. Then we have week 51 and week 51 uh, last week, Alex on the left is last week, which was week 50. And this is current Alex, week 51. Uh, this is the front view of that. And then this is the side view. And then here is pre-workout Alex. Pre-workout Alex is on the left and current Alex. Week 50 is on the right. And then here is the side view of that. Okay, so that is going to be it for these updates and just my chitter chatter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if one of your resolutions was to start working out or getting more physically active during the new year. Um, I would love to know. Tell me what uh, YouTube vloggers, influencers you follow because I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.